Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today I'm going to be reacting to Jesse Thoth, uh, World of Warcraft cinematics and trailers. He was formerly known as Hoppy Miss Derp, but now it's Jesse Thoth. If you want to uh, watch my previous uh, parts, I'm going to put the card right up top here. You just click on it and then you'll be able to access my previous parts where I reacted to the playlist. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one, go. Our kind faces extinction. Trolls once ruled the mightiest empire this world has ever seen. Yet look at you now. Zuldrak has already fallen to the scourge. Its gods consumed as death descends people. Zulfarok, once the shining jewel of Tanaris, is now nothing but a wasteland. Divided, you are weak. But we, Zandalari, can offer you a future undreamed of. Jinto of the Gurubashi, would you see the greatness of Zul'Garub restored? Join us, and the Zandalari will make it so. The Kara of the Amani, summon your followers to Zul'Aman. Together, we will make Zul'Jin's murderers weep for mercy. Brothers, hear us now! Zandalari have returned to reclaim the former glory of our people. To see trolls retake the lands that are rightfully ours. And to crush any foolish enough to stand in our way. From the wreckage of the cataclysm, the troll empire will rise again. of the Dark Spear. You would turn your back on your own people. The Horde is my people. If it be war you bring, then I stand against you. So be it, Dark Spear. But against the powers we'll soon unleash, none shall stand for long. Okay, well, the trolls are taking advantage of the cataclysm. Well, some of the trolls, uh, some of the clans that still exist, uniting forces to try and, you know, regain that lost power they had before. Uh, one clan doesn't want to be associated with them. Uh, they're loyal, like, they must be like staunch loyal supporters of the Horde. So I could say that there's a civil war going to brew in the troll faction of the horde and well, it's quite interesting it's quite interesting okay let's continue remain silent, Agra. How can I help them if they won't speak to me? You must rest. Everyone has their limits. Look around you. This world is dying. I can't have limits. When will you see that you cannot carry this burden alone? Show me what I must 
I don't know who Goel is. I don't know. I've, they were trying to say Goldan. But yeah, Goel. Um, I'm not sure who he is. You guys can tell me. Um, was that creature part of the Burning Legion? Is it an old god, maybe? I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, let's continue.
Okay, wow. Azeroth. Okay, wow. Azeroth really is changing. Yeah, almost all the landmass has been turned into this ash choked land with lava lakes and lava po uh, lava pools and just fire everywhere. Even creatures are turning into fire creatures now, you know. Ugh, damn. I don't think you guys are winning this war. It doesn't look it. It just doesn't look like it. I guess this clip was just showing us the maps that you guys are going to play on uh the creatures you'll be fighting you know the fi fire spiders the fire birds and the fire priests if i can call them that i don't know i'm just assuming what those were and yeah like um what's his name again deathwing he brought the entire shebang he brought everybody everybody in his crew to come and invade azeroth yeah i think this weapon that they that they're talking about i think jesse thought told me about it in a in a previous comment for my previous uh reaction um he said it was something called the demon demon soul or something dragon soul 
like it sucks out your the energy of one of the aspects of you know one of the dragon aspects i think so i think it's that weapon i'm not sure maybe you guys can correct me maybe jesse if you're if you're watching this right now you can correct me but i'm assuming it's that weapon you were discussing or you were t uh, telling me about in the comment section and the aspects looked humanoid they were not dragons can they transform um either into a dragon or into a hu humanoid form um creature of azeroth because i was expecting, expecting them to be dragons still but i could see you know they were showing you know humanoid characters like you know elves and humans so i'm just wondering about that and it seems like people were fighting on Deathwing's back. <laughs> so weird. That is so weird. He is he is so big that you can actually have a battle royale on his back. <laughs> well, now that I think about it, when I saw the um, previous trailers in my previous part reaction, he was actually huge. He was a, a very big dragon. So I guess it's understandable. Let's continue. Okay, I think Deathwing died there. I don't know. It looked like he died. And I didn't know um, they had airships that could, you know, drop up special forces <laughs> out, of the, out of the airship. And they have parachutes. And, you know, it looks kind of modern. So I, I was kind of taken aback there. Like, gone are the days where they were fighting with horses and... and, and, and what, are, what are those things? Those, like, giant spear kind of, kind of things. You know, the knights... One of the days where people were fighting looking like knights and they had boils and arrows. These guys were jumping off a plane or an airship like uh, special forces. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Technology really developed <laughs> that far. Um, yeah. And that weapon is quite powerful. It's quite amazing. It's really, really very, very effective. And it seems that Deathwing knew that and he's like, oh no, I'm getting out of here. But I guess he didn't get far enough and they shot him down. Hmm. All right, let's continue. I can feel the elements awakening, rejoicing. Cataclysm is over. The champions who fought at our side assured the survival of our world. But now, we must see it with mortal eyes. We dragon aspects have fulfilled our great purpose. And our ancient power is expended. But though our day draws to an end. Life endures, and new generations will be born. Today's victory belongs to all who stood against the shadow. You are Azeroth's true guardians, and the future of this world is in your hands. 
for the dawning of the age of mortals has begun. Wow, okay, so Deathwing has been defeated, the aspects uh, have turned mortal, and it seems that there's a baby on the way. Congratulations! Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. That's, that's a, you know, good way to end the story. You know, the destruction of death creation and the creation of I want to stop right here. Um, yeah, let's just continue. I was born in the Badlands in the days following the Cataclysm, a black dragon by blood. Perhaps the last of my kind. My egg was stolen from my mother by the Red Dragonflight. Once they had what they needed, my mother was murdered. They experimented on my egg. They tried to sever my connection with the other black dragons so that I would be pure. They were more successful than they had bargained for. When my father found out about this travesty, he was displeased. Perhaps you have heard of my father. His name is Deathwing. My story would have ended there, with the death of the red dragon who created me. But she was tricky, that one. She was burned alive with a decoy in her hands. My egg was spirited away to the Red Dragon flight. There, I was held captive for a time. This is Ravenhope Manor. Shortly before I was born, the assassins of Ravenhold stole my egg from the Red Dragon flight. The story of my deliverance hinges on a most unusual rogue. Suffice it to say, he was a thief of global renown. This individual came to my attention when the Red Dragonflight sent him to infiltrate Ravenholt Manor and retrieve my egg. No doubt our hero expected to snatch up an egg and steal away into the night. But instead, he found something unexpected. Guys, Deathwing had children. <laughs> when did he have the time? And... Oh wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. This is becoming a family issue now. You know. Deathwing is dead, now Deathwing's son is here. What's going to happen next? And he's also transformed himself into a human. Interesting. Can all dragons transform themselves into a humanoid creature? I think I've asked this question before, but I just want to reiterate this question, you know, because if this is a power they have, it's quite cool. Or maybe it only affects those who are, you know, dragon aspects of the various natures of Azeroth. I'm not sure. But it, it's interesting.
That's right, mortal. The prize you seek no longer sleeps within a shell. Here I am, in the flesh. I'm not some trophy for a red dragon's mantelpiece, and I'm never going back. Don't look so surprised. We dragons are conscious, even within our shells. As I grew, I could hear the plotting and scheming. I was to be born a prisoner. But I'm one of a kind. A black dragon, raised free from the taint of my father's corruption. And that's how I intend to stay. Free. Somehow, you managed to elude all of my guards. You slipped in here like a ghost. That makes you valuable to me. Let's talk. Your Highness, we caught this beast snooping around the caves just outside the compound. I'm not afraid of you! Wait, who, who are you? You don't recognize your former prisoner? Shall we execute him, my prince? No. I want him to deliver a message to the Red Dragonflight. Tell them that I am free of my father's madness, and I will be free of them as well. I am to be left alone. This will be my first and only warning. But... but Deathwing's minions may have you killed. Deathwing's minions should be afraid of me. Get him out of here. And Farad? Yes, sir. Break his legs. Have much to talk about. As you know, black dragons frequently disguise themselves as humanoids in order to tamper with mortal affairs. While the house of my mad father collapses around him, the few remaining black dragons have gone into hiding. But I can still sense them. My cowardly brothers and sisters will cause untold suffering if we allow them to stay in the shadows. Moreover, they are a threat to me. That is where you come in. Help us to slay them all, and I will reward you handsomely. Your first target is here, in the ruins of Gilneas. I've lost some of my best men already. Let's see if you can fare any better. Okay, uh, yeah, the prince is, he's full of nonsense, he's arrogant, he talks a lot, and now he wants to bring his entire kind to the brink of extinction by killing the remaining black dragons. I don't understand that logic behind that, but anyways, Gilneas is destroyed because I heard them say Gilneas ruins. So I I take it that the city didn't make it, even after um, dealing with the werewolf problem, the city was still destroyed, it seems. Probably by the Forsaken or by the Cataclysm or something else, I don't know, you guys can tell me. But yeah, I wouldn't follow this prince anywhere, you know. The moment you said, come my friend, I'm like, what friend? <laughs> I am your friend. I am not your friend. But, wow. He may th say that he's not like his father, but he's exactly like his father. He's exactly like him. Well, the cursed, warped-minded version of his father. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. As 
the only pure, untainted member of the Black Dragon Flight, I took it upon myself to see that all my corrupted brothers and sisters were destroyed. I sent my new friend into the heart of Gilneas City to destroy Hiram Creed, a black dragon who had corrupted the locals with his own draconic blood. None of Ravenholt's assassins had been able to penetrate into the city, but this one, as silent as a shadow, he moved. With surgical precision, he took his target down. I was very impressed. My companion, Farad, was not so enamored of my new favorite assassin. <laughs> a lucky blow against an unprepared opponent. I rewarded our hero with a nasty set of matching daggers, and the promise of even more power if he could return to me with some spell reagents acquired from Deathwing's minions. To my surprise, he returned, some weeks later, scarred by battle against my father's minions, but eager for another assignment. The gems you collected will be able to augment the power of the weapons I gave you, but I require another ingredient. It will come from your next target. We've just located her here, in the caverns beneath Karazhan. <laughs> Fearful for her life, she is researching arcane secrets buried beneath the Foundation. Her name is Nalus, and until recently she stood at Wormrest Temple as the representative of the Black Dragonflight. Now, she's on the run. She surrounded herself with a small army of deranged dragon cultists. They may not be right in the head, but they're well-armed and dangerous. I hope to see you back from this mission alive. But if I do not, I want to say I've enjoyed seeing you work. You're a credit to your race. Good luck. Confident of my new ally's ability, I sent him after one of the most powerful black dragons I knew to be in hiding. Nalus. Getting to her required running through a gauntlet of minions within the catacombs beneath Karazhan. And, of course, Nalus herself did not go down without a fight. I was pleasantly surprised at our hero's victory, but Farad was again... unimpressed. She allowed herself to be defeated. The others will not be so weak. The black blood of Nalus allowed me to upgrade the vicious twin daggers of my new favorite assassin. He was going to need even more power, however, and for that reason, I sent him back into the fray to collect more resources. Some weeks passed, but he returned, fresh from battle and prepared at last for my hardest assignment. Don't trust this one, your highness. No one is that good. I sent him to kill my father, Deathwing himself. Don't underestimate my father. Even if you were to crush his body, the core of his madness and rage will still struggle to destroy you. He will not be defeated until he is utterly annihilated. I could help, but my father is the one dragon I fear. Best of luck, Rogue. Whatever the outcome, you are truly a champion. To be honest, I expected never to hear from my favorite Rogue again. But I underestimated his legendary abilities. Okay, okay. I am officially confused. Because I thought... Um... You know, this these events are taking place after Deathwing is dead, you know. But I can see that it's currently, you know, during the time when Deathwing is still alive. So, yeah. Hmm, okay. destroy my 
my father, spanned the globe for a few terrible hours. The fate of the world hinged on the actions of a handful of mortals brave enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the World Breaker. My rogue friend returned triumphant to collect his final reward. But he was in for a surprise. Your eyes do not deceive you. The treacherous Red Dragon Flight sought to kill me off. I hope now you see the truth about them. Champion, you have your reward. But there is one final dragon we need to slay. My prince, we should leave this place in case they come back to finish the job. Farad, I was just talking about you. The final black dragon. The one who's been more hidden than any of them. Your Highness, I have never tried to conceal what I am from you. Yes, you rescued me while I was still within my egg, and I owe you my life. But you are a black dragon, and you share the corruption of all my brothers and sisters. That is not true. Do you deny it? The dark visions? The voices in your head? No, no, I am in control of the voices. They're here to help me. And what are they telling you now, Farad? What do your dark masters whisper? Kill. They want me to kill you now. Oh, why did you have to go and act? You have proven too difficult to control! I will never be controlled! The Red Dragon Flight has no idea what they unleashed when they experimented on my egg. Hero, strike now! Use your newfound power to finish him! It is done, friend. To my knowledge, I am the only black dragon who remains. A new age for mortals has dawned, and heroes like you are among the vanguard. I must go now. Disappear. Perhaps we will meet again. I hope we find ourselves on the same side. With the last of the Black Dragon flight destroyed, my destiny was in my own hands. I left the assassins of Ravenholt behind to seek my destiny elsewhere. There are rumors of a new land beyond the mists of the sea. Perhaps I will see you there. Yeah, it's done. Okay. Wow. Um, maybe I'm wrong about Deathwing's son being a bit too evil. Like, just like his father. Maybe I am wrong about that. I will admit. Um, I didn't suspect that that guy, his security guard, what was his name? Volus, I think, of, of, of Arth. Yeah, I didn't suspect him to be an agent. Um, in the uh, as a black dragon, I, I didn't suspect that. Um, yeah, things are going very fast. In fact, you know, compared to the other adversaries that you get to fight against in World of Warcraft, I think the Deathwing one looks like it was very short. It was a very short campaign. But you know, I'm judging this on the basis of the cinematics. So you know, I could be totally wrong. You know, in terms of how long uh, this gameplay was. And uh, Deathwing's son, I forgot his name, but the, the prince, the black dragon prince, he, <laughs> when he transformed into a dragon, it was this small baby. 
<laughs> I just didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I, I thought he would be just as huge as all these other dragons, but no. He just transformed into this little cute little peepsqueak dragon and uh, he just flew away. Uh, um, yeah. I think... I think this uh, extension pack or this gameplay... I don't know. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I've enjoyed it as much as I did with the Lich King. Like there you could, I don't know, like it had this preparedness, this, this, um, this fight, you know, that expanded the entire globe. You know, all the factions were involved in this situation with the Lich King. And the Lich King himself, he was a very menacing uh, opponent, you know. But with Deathwing, I'm not sure, you know. And it, it's like we're dealing with a family feud, you know, with the dragon aspects, now with Deathwing's son and uh, with Deathwing himself. It, it I don't know. I enjoyed the Lich King storyline more than I did with... Uh, Deathwing with Cataclysm yeah yeah that's all I can say about that so far um, I guess that's it for this part I think this is part 8 if I'm not mistaken if it's not part 8 it's part 7 <laughs> yes I think it's part 7 um, uh, prepare to meet me in part 8 next time next week Monday uh, hope to see you guys there. Remember to give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, click on, our click on our notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's it. Bye-bye.